those who are partying Ibiza, those who are clubbing in London, those people, would the 12th Imam come and say, you, you can't join? Whenever the Prophet talks about Imam Zaman, he always says, what Imam Zaman goes through, I went through. Always, yes? What 12th Imam will go through, I went through. Meaning what? 12th Imam, look how many people in the world are not religious. Those who are partying Ibiza, those who are clubbing in London, those people, would the 12th Imam come and say, you, you can't join? Not at all. The door for everybody is open as long as they are a good human being. What do I mean? When the Prophet came to Mecca, did he begin talking to these people who are not religious? Did he begin talking using fiqh, Islamic law? When you come to these people, Ammar, Abu Dhar, Bilal, do you begin by talking, you know what, this is halal, that's haram, this is wajib, this is makruh. People will run away. People will say, what have I come into, a university or a way of life? Yes. There was not one law of Islam introduced in the first 13 years of Islam. Because a religion that is controlled, monopolized, hijacked by law becomes a stale religion. A religion that begins with social reform and moral principles attracts every human being when the prophet announces prophethood did he say straight away i'm your prophet pray five times a day i'm your prophet fast in ramadan all the verses of prayers and fasting came in medina because i want this religion not to be a religion from day one haram wajib wajib haram makruh wajib haram let it be a religion which builds moral discipline in society yes he said, I have come to perfect the morals of mankind. Shiism today is a school where law is number one and morals have become nothing. Islam began with morals at the top. Law came later. Shiism today, the reason there is no attraction it's because the only discussion in the mosque is when is moon, when is moon. Whereas there's no moral discussion. When the Prophet first came, Ammar bin Yasir, Salman, Abu Dhar, all of them, what were they? All Ammar, Salman, Abu Dhar, Ammar, Abu Dhar, Miqdad, Ammar, Abu Dhar, Bilal. You think these people were philosophers of religion? Not at all. You think these people were able to debate you in philosophy and cosmology and metaphysics? Not at all. What made Ammar join the Messiah of his time? What made Abu Dhar join Rasulullah? What made Bilal join Rasulullah? What was it? Was it talking about law? And theology only having pedantic discussions on them? No. It was that they found that the Holy Prophet spoke things that made sense to them. And he spoke for social reform. He didn't straight away come and say, Are you Bilal? Yes. You have to pray five times a day. And you have to fast in Ramadan. And you have to go on Hajj. And if you don't do any of these, you're going to burn in hell, Bilal. Uh, if I was Bilal, I'd run away, far away. Yes, I'll get the horse and run. When he came, he knew that the way to talk was what? The way to talk to them was by A, appreciating that they are human beings, good human beings. Yes, they may not have believed in God. Say Abu Dhar did not believe. Say Bilal did not believe. Say Ammar bin Yasir did not believe. Even some of them, let's say they worshipped idols. Yes, they used to bow down before idols. What attracted them to the Prophet? Yes, because today my friend who is having a party in Monaco. Yes. My friend who's having a party in Monaco, someone tells me this person will never be with Imam Zaman. I'll be like, but wait, it depends how Imam Zaman offers the religion. Yes? If he looks at Imam Zaman in theology and legal terms only, he's not interested. I'll tell you from now. If he looks at Imam Zaman as a social reformer looking to remove oppression in humanity, he'll run to Imam Zaman. To all Mu'mineen, thank you for watching. Share this video with your loved ones, subscribe to our YouTube channel and make sure you hit the bell icon.
help us create the first educational da'wah channel spreading the message of Qur'an and Ahlul Bayt. Donate now. Thank you.